Nicholas Crafting. Tonight we're going to be showing you how to make a bar table and bar stools for your dolls. We're doing this for our karaoke lounge. So first we're going to be taking a coaster, which is about the size of the table that we want, and we're going to be laying it on paperboard and we're going to trace it and we're going to make four cutouts of our coaster for our table. With all the circles cut out, we're going to be stacking three of them and then we're going to be taking this fourth one and flipping it over and then stacking it on top. And we're going to be gluing this together with hot glue and then we're going to take a nail file and sand down the sides until they're all even and smooth. Now that our table is glued together and sanded down on the sides, we're going to be taking it and setting it down on our paperboard on the very edge and then we're going to be making a line that's slightly thicker than our table and we're just going to trace that line all the way across our board and cut it out. You find that the board that you're cutting isn't long enough for your circle then you're just going to cut out two and we're just going to fit them on here and see if they fit and if one's a little bit longer then we'll just cut it down until we can fit both of these on here evenly and they can just barely touch each other. After you get them all sized out and ready to go, we're going to stick glue on them and we're going to glue them to our table like this. Just real quick, before we go on, we wanted to let you know that if you want to do the table um, in an easier way, you can take a Ben & Jerry's ice cream top after you finished it and just wash it out and cut out paperboard the same size as the inside and just hot glue it in there for sturdiness and that's a simpler way to do it. But now that we're done making our table, we're going to get some dark green paint for the edges for the rim and then for the top we're going to be adding white and we're just going to make it light green just because it goes with the color of our karaoke lounge. While we wait for the paint to dry on our table, we're going to be taking our two lids for our stools and we're going to be setting them on our fabric and we're using the same fabric that we used for our couch for our karaoke lounge and we're going to be tracing a circle that's just a little bit bigger than our chair, than the lid and we're going to be cutting out that circle and we're going to be doing this for both of them. With our pieces of fabric cut out for our stools, we're going to be taking just a very small amount of pillow fluff and we're just going to lightly dab some glue around the bottom, some hot glue, and we're just going to stick it onto our stool. And then once we're done with that, we're going to take our fabric and we're going to press it down around the fluff and then we're just going to glue all the sides onto the edge of the lid. To glue the edges on, what we're doing is we're just laying our lid on top of the fabric and we're just putting a little bit of hot glue along the edge and then we're just going to grab this top of the fabric on the bottle cap and just fold it onto the fabric. And that way you don't burn yourself with the hot glue. With our fabric glued on to our bottle caps, we're going to be doing the same thing we did with the edge of the table in cutting out these little frames for our bar stools and once we get them cut out instead of gluing them straight on here we're going to be painting them dark green first and then when they dry we will be gluing them onto our bottle caps. While we wait for the sides of our bar stools to dry we're going to now take our tabletop and we're going to be painting the entire tabletop the dark green color and once we get the entire thing covered in green while it's still wet we're going to be dipping our brush in white and we're just going to be lightly brushing across the top of the table with the white to give it kind of the same look as our bar stools and our couch. So real quick we will show you how we're going to do that. So we've got the whole thing painted and while it's still wet, you're just going to dip your brush in the white and you're just going to lightly give it some strokes like this 
and you're just going to do that until you get it to the style that you like. With our table and our sides to our bar stool painted, we're going to be taking everything we just painted and we're going to be covering it in a layer of Mod Podge to seal it in and give it a gloss look. Now that we have Mod Podge dried on all of these, we're going to be taking the edges for our bar stool and we're just going to hot glue them into place and once it's hot glued we're going to be painting the inside of the chair and underneath right here green along with our wooden dowels and once we're done painting those we're going to glue one wooden dowel each in the center of our lids for our bar stool with everything glued on and mod podged, we're now going to be taking a cap to a milk container and we're going to be gluing one onto the bottom of each of our stools and our table. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be painting it because we found if you glue it before or paint it beforehand, it tends to come off with the glue. So, with our milk tops glued to the bottom of our stool, we're going to be taking our stool and cutting out circles a little bit bigger than it. And we're going to be cutting out three of them with our paperboard, gluing them together, and then we're going to be gluing our cap on top of the paperboard, and then we will um, proceed to paint it. Now that everything's painted and glued together, we have our table and our stools. Tanashime! So this is it. This is uh, my karaoke lounge my dad opened. Well... Almost. We're still waiting for the TV. Wow, this place is huge. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's great. So, are you, like, going to have a huge TV then? Yeah, I mean, that's a huge wall. Oh, yeah. My dad's getting, like, this huge TV for it. And it's going to be lots of karaoke, and we're going to have snacks. It's going to be great. Oh, huh, that's awesome. You mind if I do the honors this time? Sure, go ahead. Thanks for watching Eco's Crafting. Sayonara!